it will be gone so there's nothing much to worry about it's looking nice but maybe we would like to change the size of the particles make them a little smaller or bigger as you can see we don't see the flatting which is awesome and we can hide the selection there we go okay looks nice now I'm not gonna get into rendering of the system here um, because I'm not that good at rendering obviously I usually use mental ray um, I could show you how to create a basic material that I used for um, my rendering it's pretty simple pick a diffuse color oops diffuse color somewhat dark blue or something like that uh, specularity, high specularity. Now you, you can also use uh, Fong shading or um, metal or anisotropic, but I'll just use blend standard for tutorial purposes. Okay, high specularity maps. Now reflection is gonna be ray trace. And because we don't have any environment, I'm going to use a picture. Um, <laughs> crap. Uh, no. C. Program files. RNS. 3ds Max. Maps. HDRs. All files. Outside high. This is an HDR map that we're going to use as an environment map. Load up. Okay. Um, we could change the um, output settings to make it brighter because it is an HDR image. Um, we could also use um fall off keep old map and the front front side is gonna reflect and the back side is gonna be um black or dark blue or something like that um like, yeah. and we're gonna use fall off type fresnel And that's pretty much it. Now lower the reflection to 70% or so. You can also you can always add bump maps, whatever, to your materials, but we're not going into that. And uh, you could turn on the super, super sampling for better reflections. So that's that. And to both particle systems. Um, I'm going to create a camera from a view, control C, camera here. Um, pa -pa 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 -pa. I'm going to create a plane in the top viewport. Which uh, is going to be our base plane. Position it like so. I'm going to use I'm not gonna scale it here, I'm gonna scale it uh, at rendering time. Okay, plain render multipliers. Scale, um, let's say to 100. It's gonna be 100 times the size it is now. And I'm gonna add a uh, white material here. No, no biggie. Or maybe um, slightly bluish. Okay, I'm going to add a skylight, I'm not going to use an HDR map because we're not doing HDR lighting here, we're just going to do some basic tests now, for faster rendering we're going to choose mental ray, 
which is gonna which uh, is designed to handle high ray heavy ray tracing a lot faster and we don't need high resolution we're gonna pick HD 490 by 720 and drag the camera back okay let's have a rip now high reflectivity is going to take a lot of time especially if you're uh, rendering in high res with uh, f with a high final gather um, setting as you can see this render looks pretty crappy because we don't have studio lighting which is uh, supposed to be of like uh, three or four studio lights with area shadows and stuff now um, I'll just bump up the sampling to let's say this okay so we have a high resolution version to work with I'm not gonna get into too much details but I'm gonna show you how to fix some of the common problems we did use the HDR map because we didn't have an environment so that's gonna add in a little extra detail and highlights to our materials waiting 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 uh, mental ray is pretty fast so is V-ray but I like mental ray more um, as you can see we have problems with our reflections they're kind of jerky and also uh, what we could do is bump up the anti-aliasing uh, reflections precision and this is important max reflections uh, because when a light ray comes it bounces many times and if we don't have enough bounces between the surfaces we're gonna see black spots without reflections so we're gonna have um, six is usually enough uh, sometimes more for photorealistic renders I'm gonna clone the, win clone the window so we can see what differences it has made and the final gather is okay not too low and we're gonna render again now this is going to take a longer because the settings are higher and I can already tell it's gonna look more natural with less jerkiness that we can see here but, I've, but as I've mentioned before it's gonna take longer you can already compare these parts here see smooth jerky jerky smooth but this is gonna take longer especially inside where there is a lot of bouncing and ray tracing going on between the spikes waiting waiting wait of course it won't look as good as Andrew Kramer's but it's something and I'm pretty sure he used post post color correction or something so I'm not and believe me or not raw renders from a from a 3d program never never ever produce perfect results you're gonna want to edit them um, later in Photoshop or After Effects um, I'm running on a laptop here, so rendering takes quite a while on dual-core processor. Um, but it's quite fast, a decent machine. So here you can compare the results. Jerky, crappy, and nice and smooth. Well, it's not smooth enough. Um, if you were doing this for a production, a movie or something, 
you would have this 